Hey guys, it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. I'm back with another video for you today. Are you ready to see my entire fragrance collection? Well, stay tuned. So here it is, the collection. So last year was a lot easier to do this collection than this year because my collection has dramatically grown to a lot more. I have way too many fragrances and it's taking over my life pretty much. But uh, that's a pretty wide shot here of the entire collection. And what I want to do this year is probably start out with groupings of discussions rather than discussing everything. As you can see right here, we've got um, the Tom Ford Private Blend Collection with Tobacco Vanille, Tobacco Oud, Oud Wood, Noir de Noir, Tuscan Leather, Azure Lime. Um, these are some of my favorites, I, although Azure Lime is a little on the light side, it's great for layering, but the others are excellent, excellent fragrances, and I'm sure most of you have probably either smelled them or worn them. Um, right next to the Tom Ford Private Blend Collection, we've got the um, Dior Privé Collection with Leather Oud, Ombre Nuit, Bois d'Argent, Vetiver, and Mitza, with Vetiver and Mitza being discontinued, although Mitza was... Um, kind of brought back. I'm not sure how official it is uh, with that one. As you can see, I don't have Oud Ispahan in my collection. It just doesn't wow me much. And I'm still waiting to pick up a bottle of Feb Delicious. So that one will be hopefully soon. Uh, moving along, we've got Ombre Narguile uh, right next door, um, which is uh, from Hermes. And right next door, we've got Chanel um, Les Exclusives collection fragrances, Coromandel, Sycamore, and right along next to those, we've got a few amouages with Lyric Man being my favorite, and then Reflection Man and Journey Man right behind it. Um, you can probably kind of get a glimpse of it right there. Unfortunately, Jubilation was a miss for me. I bought a bottle and it was the new formulation and I had to let go of it. It was just not working for me. Uh, right next door, we've got uh, the Montals uh, with In Intense Cafe being my favorite. I absolutely love that fragrance. I think it's totally unique and original from uh, Montal and from any brand, actually. I've never smelled anything like it with a cafe latte or coffee type of a scent with rose. And uh, next to it, you've got uh, Black Oud. You've also got uh, Extreme Incense or Incense Extreme. And then Boise, Boise Vanille, which is a woodsy vanilla scent. Uh, right next door, we've got three... Uh, Creeds, a Jardin Amalfi Spice and Wood, and a, also a flacon of Aventus. And uh, as you can see right next door, door we have my Mugler's, the Mugler, Terry Mugler. Um, so we've got um, uh, Pure Leather, uh, we've got the Orange uh, Ultra Zest uh, Bee Men, we've got uh, Taste of Fragrance, Pure Malt, Pure Havan, Pure Wood. Uh, we've also got here the two uh, iced coffee style uh, remakes, uh, Iceman and Sun Essence. And of course, uh, Amen is right in front of uh, Iceman right there. And actually, Amen is Angel Men. And, uh, and of course, right in front there, we've got uh, Mugler Cologne. Absolutely love that one too. So in front there, we've got Profumi di Firenze fragrances, two of them. Koyo and tobacco. Koyo is the soapy leather, which I really love, and of course the tobacco is really nice too. It's a unique take on a um, tobacco, which I really love, and those are both from Italy. Right next door we've got Maitre Parfume et Gantier, two fragrances, the Ambre Perso and Jardin Sur Nil. Um, totally unique fragrances, great house. I want to explore their house more. The Ambre Perso is really masculine amber, really, really nice. I, I love that one. Um, kind of almost reminds me of Laird Desert Morrow King. And moving along, I've got one Atelier Cologne Rose Anonyme. We've got two memo fragrances there, Courtier Latin and Italian Leather. The Italian Leather is so unique it uses tomato leaf um, for one of the notes, but it's a very, very unique take on a leather. 
So moving right along, we've got two or three or four actually from Comme des Garçons there. And I actually have another one at the front here, wouldn't fit there. But we've got the two from the Red series, Palisander and Rose, and then also two from the Incense series. And those are um, both, um, uh, we've got Avignon and Zagorsk. Right next to the uh, Comme des Garçons is the Luban, uh, and that is uh, Idole in EDP. Love that fragrance. Beautiful perfume house also in Paris. I love my visit there, although it was very rainy the day I visited, so I couldn't hang out too long. Right next door, we've got the Nila Vermeer Bombay, Bombay Bling. Love, love, love that one, especially in warmer weather. Just a very happy islandy kind of a fragrance. Really, really adore it. Um, it's The nose is um, Bertrand de Chafour. Moving right along, we've got some um, Guerlain. So we've got three of them, Tonka Imperial, uh, Bois d'Armony, and also Spiritus de Bovigny. Then we've also got Cologne du 68. And in front, we've got the new Habit Rouge dress code. Behind Habit Rouge dress code, we've got um, Heritage in EDT. Uh, of course, Vetiver and the two uh, L'Instant de Guerlain Pour Homme Extremes. One, the newest uh, edition, which is all clear glass, and then the old one is in the back there. Um, right next door, um, we've got this beautiful bottle here. Um, this is Aqua de Genova. It's a beautiful, beautiful bottle. It comes with um, the pump style spray, as you can see. Um, and it's basically a, a classic eau de cologne. Uh, it's very Italian style, very citrusy, very soapy, clean, refreshing, perfect for a hot um, walk in the park or at the beach on a hot summer's day. So right next door, we've got Lira by uh, Zerzhov, uh, the Casa Morotti line. And right next door, we've got one of my favorite, favorite coffee scents right there, Sensei. Absolutely adore that fragrance. And, uh, you know, we've got the three different concentrations there. Um, <clears throat> right next door, we've got uh, Sisley's Eau de Campagne. Absolutely love that refreshing tomato leaf cologne um, style fragrance. Um, it's kind of like a Eau de Cologne style fragrance, although even though it's an Eau de Toilette. Uh, I've got the Cartier Intense uh, Declaration uh, Duan Soir Intense. And then right next door, we've got Armani Code. Um, so moving along, we've got the three Profum Aromas, Batito de Ali, Rosa Mundi, and Aquaviva. And then, of course, we've got uh, Atelier des Ors Lune Feline right there with the gold flakes. I have a review of that coming right up. And then, of course, right there, we've got all of the uh, creeds with Bois de Portugal, Royal Mayfair, uh, Aventus, Royal Oud. And then in front, we've got three uh, Creed um, atomizers, one with Windsor, one with um, uh, original Santal. Finally, the other one is Royal Ceylon, which is also, uh, like Windsor, it is um, vaulted. And then, moving right along, we've got uh, the inexpensive uh, Spiritus Double Vanille bottle back there. It's a uh, clone of the Missions. And then in front of that, we've got Herod by Parfum de Mali. And then uh, right in front of that, we've got another cheapy there. It's uh, Alfred Sung's Sung Ohm, uh, which is a really awesome, clean, but really big and bold uh, powerhouse fragrance. So moving right along, in front of the Profumi di Firenze fragrances there, we've got Histoire de Parfum uh, fragrance Moulin Rouge. Um, iris fragrance. I haven't really explored the rest of the line, which I hear is really great. And Marquis de Sade is supposedly one of the best. Right next door is Nobile 1942 Ombra, Mona Diorio's um, Veni, and two from Boys 1920. We've got Sushi Imperial and uh, Classic 1920. Um, of course, right next door is the new Vetiver from Carvan, uh, not the old ones. I guess there's been like three or four different reincarnations of the vetiver. This one's actually decent. The uh, Pour Homme that has come out, similar bottle, black bottle, I did not care for much. Right next door, we've got two Aramises, the Rose Calligraphy and the Saffron Calligraphy. The Saffron's amazing. I absolutely really love that Saffron. The Rosie's also nice too, but I, I adore the Saffron more. 
Right next door we've got Nasamados, two of them, Pardon and uh, Black Afghano. Everybody knows those two fragrances. I don't think I have to discuss those more. Um, right in front of uh, the Guerlains there, we've got two from Apes de la Fleur de Orangere, and those are Neroli Blanc EDP and N Neroli Blanc Intense EDP. The Neroli Blanc Intense EDP is hands down my favorite of the two, and it kind of reminds me of the Y. Killian, I think it's called Love. Uh, very sweet and sugary neroli citrus thing. So I want to do a comparison of the two. It's really, really good stuff. It's kind of like a gourmand neroli scent. Love it. Right next to the Guerlain's right there, we've got two from Le Labo. Le Labo's uh, Bergamot 22 and Rose 31, my favorites. Love those. Uh, everybody knows those. And then next to those, we've got uh, Pop and Bal de Afrique from Byredo. And I'm looking forward to my visit to Stockholm in the near future. Love to visit their shop. Right behind there, I didn't mention earlier, is uh, the Hotel Coast uh, fragrance that uh, you can buy at places like L Lucky Scent or the Hotel Coast perfume shop in Paris. Um, when you go to that shop, there's also exclusive fragrances that you cannot shop or you cannot buy anywhere. This one is definitely available in uh, Lucky Scent or a few other places, but there's probably like 10 to 15 other fragrances that are not available except for that shop. So if you get there, you definitely have to stop in. Uh, right next to them are my two tower uh, fragrances or tower perfumes, Lair de Desert Marocaine and Fee Un Rose de Kandahar. I absolutely love those two. Uh, really, really bottle worthy stuff. Um, next to those, we've got uh, right here, uh, Frederick Mall's Portrait of a Lady. And then right back here is a tough one for me. It is Quitem Art, I think is what it's called. But um, And then we've got uh, right next door, which is right here, uh, Aqua Fresca by Adolfo Dominguez. Uh, tobacco Rose right here from Papillon Perfumery. Then um, right here, one of my favorite fragrances uh, of all time with a nose. Um, uh, what's his name? Dominic Ropion, who also did Portrait of a Lady. This is Costume National Ohm. It's clove and cinnamon oriental fragrance. Love it. So right here, we've got three by Floris, London. Two of them are from the Ouds. Honey Oud and Leather Oud. And then one's called Santal. Santal is in a video upcoming soon. But the two from uh, the Ouds lines are awesome. The Honey Oud is really beautiful, almost gourmandy Oud. And the Leather Oud is nothing like Dior's Leather Oud, it's just a, a leathery Oud with a slight bit of sweetness. Really, really dig that stuff. Okay, in front of uh, the Moulin Rouge fragrance, we've got the YSL collection here. Got two of the Reeve Gauches for men, not in the new bottle, of course. The new bottle would be in a bottle like that where the M7 Oud Absolute is. These are the classic ones that came out back in the mid uh, 2000s. So um, I actually really like the canister bottles, and I also have the Intense right next to it. In front of there are bottles of Kuros, um, Body Kuros. Uh, this Kouros right here is the Eau de Thé, which is really still got the smell of um, the original Kouros right here, but it's a fresher take on it. So you can get the little bit of the skink, but it's fresher, so you can wear it in the summertime in uh, hot weather. And then we've got two summer editions right there. They're slightly different. And of course, right over there, we've got uh, La Homme Libre and then uh, La Nuit uh, La Homme. Um, and then, uh, of course, Oud Absolute is right there. And then my newest discovery, one of my favorite fragrances now from YSL, which uh, I will do a review of very soon. It's Noble Leather. This stuff is freaking fantastic. I really, really love it. And um, I highly recommend it. For anyone that likes Tuscan Leather but thinks Tuscan Leather is a little too manufactured plant and machinery kind of smelling, which I sometimes get from it even though I love it, then the YSL is pretty awesome. So right behind there, uh, next to uh, the, the YSLs, the only uh, kerosene fragrance I have, Unknown Pleasures, I love it. I have a review of that coming soon, hopefully, 
or if it hasn't aired yet, but uh, one of my favorite gourmand fragrances as of late. I just love this stuff. Really, really beautiful. And here are the uh, Imaginary Authors fragrances. So basically what we've got here is Mosaic, City on Fire, Cobra and the Canary, um, uh, Falling into the Sea, Bull's Blood, um, An Air of Despair, and then finally um, Soft Lawn. I've got all those fragrances. Really love that line. And Josh, of course, is a very nice guy. So uh, when you like the perfumer, he's very friendly. You're going to like the fragrances. It's all the, pack, the whole package is awesome. Right over here, we've got three from um, Olfactive Studio, Chambre Noir, Panorama, and Ombre Indigo. Um, so right next door, we've got I Profumo di Firenze. I've got four of them here, and I also have another one which I can't find, so I have five total. But these are Vanilla e Fiki, so it's a fig and vanilla. Uh, dolce patchouli, kind of like a sweet patchouli. Um, and then behind those two, we've got Tobacco. Tobacco is really unique take on tobacco. And Frangipani e Coco. So Frangipani e Coco is a coconut and Frangipani. So if you like the coconut thing and you want a little slight bit of floralness in there, that might be your cup of tea. I love that stuff. So four of them. These are kind of on the lighter, skin scenty side, but definitely uh, nice and long lasting fragrances. As you can see, uh, right in front of those, we've got the two uh, fragrances from um, Les Centours de Gourmands uh, collection, and those are the Laurence Dumont Tendre Madeleine fragrance right there, which is very similar to the Lyra right there. And then we also have uh, Vanille Chocolat. And this one reminds me of Angel for Women. Really, really good. But chocolate and uh, vanilla with lots of patchouli, of course. And right over here, we've got all the Bikelians. Lots of Bikelians. We've got the Sophie Matisse Straight to Heaven right there, which is a lemony. And with all of these bottles right here, what's in there? Back to Black, Straight to Heaven, um, Cruel Intentions, Smoke for the Soul. Uh, intoxicated, uh, light my fire, and of course right here we've got, um, uh, what do you call it, criminal of love, and there's also one of the um, ouds in there, and I don't see it unfortunately, uh, lost, um, I have a rose, um, the rose oud in here somewhere, but I cannot find it right now, but anyway, that's one of the fragrances. Right over there next to them are the three Maison Francis Crookgens, Ciel de Gum, Aqua Universalis Forte, and Lumiere Noir. Uh, three excellent fragrances from MFK. Right next to the um, Criminal of Love is my only Aqualina fragrance called Blue Sugar, the very sugary gourmand. The two Mandarina Duck Blacks, the Extreme and the Regular, right there. Love the extreme, really, really dig it. Right back here is um, Le Baiser du Dragon by Cartier. Uh, really beautiful, caramelly, uh, almond licory, almondy um, gourmand. So, right over there, we've got Jovois uh, Private Label. What a masculine scent this is! Big and bold, really big and heavy bottle, too. It's like a uh, what I get from that fragrance is this library with old books because it's got papyrus in the notes. It's vetiver, but it comes off kind of boozy, like a man's uh, old library where you know the men sit around and drink whiskey and stuff like that. So right next to the door, we've got all the diptyques. We've got uh, Tamdow, Philosophus, and um, Volute, and then we've also got the latest that I really fell in love with, the limited edition Lo. It's au pluriel, and then this one actually is a really, really nice, fresh, right, lightly rosy, lightly citric, and uh, herbal. It's, a, it's an all-purpose fragrance that you can actually put on your bedding and you can put on yourself. It's really, really nice. I love it. It's perfect for summer. And in front of that, we've got Oud Neroli. Right under the two minis, we've got um, the Boulevard 34 Saint Germain, and then on top of that, we've got Oud Well, the vanilla scent. And then also a Velutes in EDT. Um, moving right along, we've got uh, the Lartisans, we've got T for Two, uh, we've got uh, the Vetiver Cœur de Sacre, and then the Bospor. 
um, right here. It's called uh, Traverse Traverse du Bar Spore. Right next door, we've got the Hermes. We've got the Eau d'Orange Vert, uh, the vintage version of that. Right next door to that is the uh, Un Jardin Mediterranean. Trying to get the focusing right here. And then uh, we've got also this baby right here, which I absolutely love, is Bellamy Vetiver. And here we've got Mandarin Ombre, Eau de Mandarin Ombre. And then Voyage de Hermes in the EDP. Love this stuff. It's cardamom. Nothing but cardamom. Good stuff. And then we've got Valentino Womo. Tom Ford's collection of fragrances. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Grey Vetiver. Not the new one that's EDT. This is the EDP edition. And of course, White Patchouli that I love. Really, really love. Right next to uh, the Tom Ford, we've got a couple of fragrances from the House of Gallimard in Grass. And this is Cologne Absolute Bamboo Triffle. Very green bamboo fragrance. And then this is Bel Canto. Apparently both of these are worn by Leonardo DiCaprio as he visited their perfumery twice during film shoots. All right, in front of the YSL fragrances, we've got the Dior Homme collection. Dior Homme Cologne, Dior Homme Intense, Dior Homme Parfum, Dior Homme with Dior Homme Parfum being my favorite. I just absolutely love that fragrance. If you don't know that by now, I think it's one of the best releases ever in the last five years for fragrances by designers. Uh, it just, just is awesome. So in front of that, we've got Eau Sauvage Parfum Dior Dune. Uh, of course, we've got Dior's um, Fahrenheit Le Parfum, and then Absolute Fahrenheit. And right in front of that, we've got Dior Sauvage, the original. Um, right next to the Dior fragrances, I've got the Anique Goutal collection. Mandragur, Mandragur Purple is the purple bottle. The uh, green bottle is Nymphio Mio. Then we've got Sables. Then we've got um, Ombre Fetiche actually in front of uh, Nymphio Mio. Then Sables. Then uh, we've got uh, Nuit Etoile and then a Vetiver, the discontinued Vetiver. And then in the three bottles here, in the feminine bottles, Neroli, which is totally unisex, Eau de Adrienne, which is totally unisex, it's an EDP concentration, and then also Nuit Etoile as an EDP concentration. Right over here, I've also got Eau de Monsieur by uh, Annick uh, Goutal. Uh, right next to those, are the three uh, atomizers with incense oud and um, a, f a few others. Uh, um, I think one of them is Cruel Intentions and uh, Liaisons Dangerous. Moving right along, we've got Carven Ohm here and it smells like uh, Gucci Envy. Stay tuned for a video with that one and also the, f the, video, uh, the, the video includes um, Santal by Floris. Right behind, we've got the two Lalique um, we've got Ancre Noir and then Ancre Noir Sport, which is really very similar to this baby right here, the Ancre Noir Sport. So it's very similar to the Anique Coutal Vetiver. Um, so right behind the Anique, uh, the Laliques, actually let's go back here. We've also got um, Tobacco Latino, which is really nice tobacco. Kind of reminds me of a Serge Lutens so that I'll bring up in a bit. And then right here is uh, Halston Z14, which is very um, classic. This one right here was sent to me by a subscriber, follower of mine. It's called Splendid. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it's called Splendid. It's a mis misprinting or something. Um, but anyway, it's a very refreshing, slightly feminine, crisp apple, sun, sunny, happy. Nice fragrance, loved it. Uh, actually really loved it. Had a friend over and she just loved it too. Right behind that is Gucci uh, Pour Homme 2. Behind that are two fragrances from um, Etat Libre de Orange. Those are in, uh, Rien Intense Incense. And then we've got, uh, like this, Tilda Swinton. Right next to those, we've got Parfum the Empire or Empire uh, Ombre Russe in two different bottles. Um, if you can see that this one 
came in the 500 bottle when I bought that. And then of course this. Now they have reformulated the fragrance so I hope it's the same. I don't think it is. I've heard it's not. Um, right over here we've got Maria Santa Novella Tobacco Toscano. And then we've got Lalique White by Lalique which is also part of the same line as the Encre Noir, or actually same brand. Here we've got the Jacques Bogart fragrances. Um, we've got Arabian Nights, One Man Show Gold Edition, Bogart Pour Homme, um, Silver Scent Intense, and then the Bogart City Tower, which I actually really like. I've heard some really negative things about it. Uh, right over here, we've got my only cigar, which is Cuba. Uh, Royal. Right next to the, those, we've got Mabusan, M Generation, Lanvan Avant Garde. Everybody knows this one's that's a uh, big favorite of mine. And then we've also got Mabusan's Poor Louis, which is good, but not my favorite. It seems a bit generic, but it's really long lasting, really strong, potent stuff. Here we've got Express. It's called Loyalty, Express Loyalty. Decent, basic fragrance. And of course, Narciso Rodriguez for him right here, the original edition, really big, bold stuff. Um, whiskey by um, Commodity is really nice. I really love it. And then Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. And of course, Platinum Egoist, I still have it. Right behind these fragrances are the Serge Lutens collection with a bell jar of um, Fumeri Turk right here. Um, really beautiful stuff. And then this stuff, as I was saying earlier, kind of reminds me of Fumeri Turk. But we've got Ombre Sultan, Je de Po, Arabi, Fi, and Angi, as I think all done. I had to buy another bottle. But Feminine Dubois, uh, Musk Kubla Khan or others and I think I'm missing one more I don't know where that one is right along here we've got three by Towerville Rose Flash, Vanilla Flash, Incense Flash which are awesome um, Olympic Orchids fragrances right in front Dev 1 and Dev 4 awesome incensey really big bold strong fragrances here we've got uh, Comme des Garçons 2 right here um, I like this one. It's a different scent, but I really like it. It's kind of synthetic, weird smelling goodness. Christian Sand. That's a nice and long lasting fragrance. Boss Bottled. Everybody knows this one. Wore this one since 98. Two from Aqua di Parma uh, Oud, which is my favorite of the two. I love this stuff. And then Aqua di Parma Mirto di Panorea. Uh, moving right along, this one's En Voyage, Tajet's Femme, really gorgeous stuff, love it, from En Voyage Perfumes, Shelley Waddington. Two from um, Smellbent, Lady Gogo, and uh, Smellbent uh, short, in short Fuse, Incensed Short Fuse. And then right over here, what we've got is the Durga Italian Citrus. Kind of a dense citrus, not too tart. Right over here, uh, we've got Prada Amber Pour Homme and Amber Pour Homme um, Extreme. It's intense, actually. Got to get those mixed up. Uh, right behind are the two Midnight in Parises, EDP and EDT. Right over here, we've got Amir Al Oud. Everybody knows this one. It's a cheapy from the Middle East. Really, really strong stuff. And then, of course, uh, Mahbobti or Mahbobati right here. Really good stuff. Really inexpensive too. Um, right over here is 24 Gold Edition. Potent, really strong, ambery oud. Silver, which is kind of like Creed's uh, Silver Mountain Water. And here, Sant Safa, which is kind of like um, Oudis Pahan. Right over here, Al Rehab again. This is three in the collection, and this is uh, Chaco Musk. So behind, right here, we've got Bulgari's Man in Black, 
Um, really nice designer release. Um, and then we've got Aqua Borsari um, La Colonia, Borsari 19, 1870. So really, really beautiful citrusy fragrance. I really like that one a lot and it's not that expensive. Here we have Aramis and Havana, very tobacco bold early 90s fragrance and here we've got Versace's dreamer I recently repurchased this one worn in the 90s still great I love it um, right over here we've got my only Mont Blanc and it's individual it kind of smells like uh, well not kind of really smells like um, Creed's um, original Santal here is a new one for me look at this awesomely awesomely awesome bottle Dunhill's icon such a great fragrance review of this one soon can't wait why do I have uh, Dolce & Gabbana's light blue for ladies because the freaking thing smells like this right here we'll wait for a comparison video very soon this one is the more floral ver version of Jardin d'Amalfi but they're very close um, Lomani's AB Spirit a cheapy but still pretty decent musky fragrance uh, Ungara Pour Om 3, a rosy masculine scent, not too big on the rose, there's a little booziness in there too. And then we've got here Burberry London, everybody knows this one. Uh, blue, sh uh, blue sugar, <laughs> because it's really sugary. Versace's uh, Versus Blue Jeans is very similar and I, I thought of Blue Sugar from Aquilina, both Italian companies. Um, Right over here, what we've got is Dolce & Gabbana's The One and EDP uh, Concentration. I actually really like it. Six and a half to seven hours longevity. It's not the best, but it's great. And then we've got Fougere Royale, the classic men's masculine Fougere fragrance. Really good stuff. Right over here in front, uh, we've got a lot of different indies and smaller uh, fragrances. So we've got Mario Tomas here, a gourmand with anise, really nice. Um, another Al Rehab, this is Nassim. Uh, Molinard here, I'm sorry, Fragonard, not Molinard. Um, Eau Fantastique. Uh, Cartier, uh, Eau de Cartier um, Zest, I think it's called. Uh, I can't remember the name now. And then here are two of the small uh, Bulgari Man and Bulgari Man Extreme, kind of like atomizer giveaway type things they had given to me. I don't need to buy the bottles. Here's Kiel's Musk, uh, a really, really decent musk fragrance, I, I would say. I like it a lot, and it's not that expensive. Uh, Chaco Mania from Body Shop. I like it, but I don't love it. Right over here we have a Clive Christian, the only Clive Christian I own, and this is V for Men. A really nice spicy, incense -y kind of fragrance. Um, behind that is a fragrance by Charenton Macerations called Christopher Street. Kind of like a very bold, updated powerhouse-y type fragrance. I really like it. Right over here is called What We Do in Paris is a Secret uh, by a Lab on Fire. Um, this is the old bottle really big tonka bean really really big tonka bean here we've got uh, dark horse by dame perfumery really nice uh, fragrance with uh, cloves and cinnamon we've got lacuri's faunus really awesome oud uh, cedar kind of leathery here we've got serendipitous by serendipity 3 niche gourmand really love it the tester I bought called Chariol Paris Pour Homme. Um, really nice, but I don't use it much. It kind of reminds me of One Million. Here's my favorite bottle, uh, Kingdom by Alexander McQueen. Taxi, which is kind of like an updated, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, drawing a blank. Dracon Noir, uh, so kind of barbershoppy, perhaps. Got two Molinards here, Patchouli Intense. And then also Molinard Ohm number two. Kind of a vanillic uh, barbershop-y scent. Then we've got a bunch of uh, Joe Malone's back there. Um, 
definitely the fig, two bottles. Um, uh, grapefruit, two bottles. Orange blossom, two bottles. Uh, I really love those three fragrances. And there's probably this right here is a birch and black pepper. Kind of reminds me of Aventus. The birch in here is very Aventus-like. And then I think I have a pomegranate noir in there also. Uh, right over there with the Hermes, you can also see Terra de Hermes. I think I forgot to mention that earlier. Then, uh, going over here, this one's a new one for me. It's by uh, uh, Ted Lapidus, Altamir. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Dunhill fragrance that I wore back in the early 2000s. My only Jean-Paul Gaultier here, Coco Rico, and I absolutely love it. I need to get By Night, the edition. Uh, a White Musk for Men by Body Shop is a compliment getter, and I don't get that. Really love the scent, though. Cheapies get compliments. Uh, L'Odyssee Pour Homme in the blue bottle. It's very strong stuff. I hardly wear it. Um, Corum, big and bold 80s uh, powerhouse. So here we've got Balmain, Monsieur, Monsieur Balmain. Uh, this is an updated uh, edition of the fragrance. It used to come in a different bottle, but this is really nice. Really nice and lemony citrus fragrance. Here we got two Jovans, Jovans Secret Amber and Jovans Intense Oud. And then right over here is Aqua de Colonia Concentrada by Alvarez Gomez. It's kind of like 4711, but slightly updated. Has a little more things going on and it supposedly is a little concentrated, so for a, lot, a little longer lasting power. And then here, everybody knows this one. It's uh, Lomani Intense Black. It's kind of like a royal oud uh, copy, lighter version of it. L'Occitane's Vetiver is a really nice vetiver. I love it. Here we did a, a video of this one, Animal Animal, with Jeffrey Dame. Uh, he was uh, involved with the release of this fragrance. But uh, a good cheapy, kind of like Amen. Here we have uh, Azaro Por Om Nighttime. Um, it's kind of not named perfectly. I think it's perfect for everyday wear. It's a long-lasting citrus, which is not tart and sharp and, you know, sour. It's very kind of a wearable scent. I really love it. Here, of course, is Bentley Intense for Men, of this awesome, awesome fragrance that you can buy for 40 bucks. It's EDP concentration, really long-lasting, very boozy. Love it. Um, here's another Occitan, L'Occitane. It's called Ombre Santal. Really nice, decent sandalwood and uh, amber. Here's the Body Shop's uh, Activist. Really decent fragrance for really cheap. Here we have Ceruti 1881 Bella Note. I don't think this fragrance ever came here. I bought it in France last December, January, I think, sometime. Uh, it's a decent flanker. Nothing, uh, nothing really like big and wow, but it's good. I like it. Here we have the uh, Insurrection fragrances. Pure, wild, and um, dark. Aventus. Um, you got Aventus clone here, you've got uh, uh, Spice Bomb clone here, and Pure Havan clone there. Right over here I've got two testers that I bought of Sirius, uh, number 7 and number 5. Number 5 is reminding me of Terra de Hermes. Number 7 is kind of leathery fresh. Of course right over there we've got um, Nautica Voyage, decent stuff, quality. And right over here, we've got three from Carolina Herrera. Of course, the new one, Privé. I was assuming Privé would be more of an EDP, but it's not. Uh, but smells great. Here are um, two from Caron. And we've got Caron, Poranum de Caron, and Yatagan. And I guess that's pretty much it. That is the entire collection. So there it is. If you have any questions or comments, let me know.